What is going on, everyone? It's the All Gaming Blog here, resuming last uh, episode's gameplay from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I bring you guys news. The ORZ is back on Steam. As of January 26th, uh, February 26th, pardon, the uh, Valve and Hammerpoint Interactive collaborated to address community feedback. Uh, this means it's basically the uh, ORZ is now available on, Ste on Steam worldwide for about $15, I believe. And, um... Basically, what they what they've done, and uh, oh, uh, also the um, the the special refund offering that was extended, the extended refund that the uh, Valve um, basically gave uh, for the War Z is finished now. So if you bought the game before and haven't got a refund yet, you can't have a refund now. Um, obviously, you can if you buy the game now and then ask for a refund, but uh, you can't at the moment for if you bought it previously. Anyways. Um, yeah, the game is back in the in the Steam store after much much controversy. I'll leave a link in the description as well as an annotation on the screen uh, of my video that I've done when this uh, was first out. For the ones who still don't know or haven't watched it, um, the game spanned much controversy when it first came out, and the basically the description on the Steam store was just completely inaccurate. And when I say completely inaccurate, I mean um, the game. I don't think there was anything, not even one single thing that was accurate in the game. The game claimed that had to have um, really big map, it didn't. The game claimed this, claimed that. It's just, it was all lies basically, just to make you buy the game. And then once you purchase the game, then you'd see that, oh wait, you know, this isn't exactly accurate. Um, that spent a lot of controversy, especially on Steam. And it has been dealt with. I mean, they've removed the game. And now the game is back in there. Now, the thing that still fazes me to this day is, how the hell can this game get on Steam like that? And there's tons of other good games that have to be either on green lights or that just take a long time. Like the DayZ mod, for example. It took ages for the DayZ mod to get on Steam, and it's now officially on Steam. But it took it ages to go, and the DayZ mod for Armor 2 is far more, um, more popular than the War Z, and it's obviously far more accurate as well. And it took ages, and then... There's a game like the War Z that just pops up in Steam like that, and it's filled with lies and bullshit. Um, I don't know how exactly that happened, but um, apparently they what they've done really was for the people that own the game. There's a patch that you guys can download to update the game, or if you've just purchased the game, which I I would honestly not recommend you to do at this point. Um, then there is a um, you don't have to do anything. The game is already updated. Now. With that being said, what has changed in the game, basically? Uh, other than bugs, fixes, and hot fixes and bugs and whatever, some stuff that was wrong with the game, nothing. Absolutely nothing was added to the game. Uh, there's nothing new, the map is still the same stupid size, the zombies are still the same. Other than the previous updates that were added before, nothing new exactly has been added. Nothing major, at least. Um, so basically, and... People were just spamming me with the stupid AMP grenades. Ugh, so annoying. Anyways, so basically, uh, what has happened now is the title is uh, more accurate to th the description on Steam Store is more accurate now to to what it was before, and the developers are working on fixing the game first instead of adding new features or adding new stuff. They're just trying to make the game work because it wasn't even working. It was a fucking broken mess in the first place, and now it's a bit better. So um. Like I said before, I would not recommend you guys buying the game at the moment. It's just not worth it. Uh, the concept, the game concept is good, like the DayZ, like I said before. The concept is very good, the ideas are excellent. But it was executed so poorly and they basically lost all the trust from from the uh, the consumers, which I, once you lose the trust of the consumers, it's, it's hard to sell anything anymore. And you pretty much get your name dirty. So, guys. Uh, that's that's pretty much it for me. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't want to promote this game any more than, than it should have. And uh, honestly, until the game is properly fixed and... Oh yeah, and the like, description on the Steam store, which I'll also leave a link in the description, is as freaking vague as a description can be. Seriously, it does not tell you anything about the game. Uh, doesn't tell you the map size, doesn't tell you pretty much nothing interesting about the game. They, they scrapped out the lies but didn't, didn't put the truth in there either, so um, whatever, it, it seems, 
it's team policy, it's not mine. So guys, this is it for this video. Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, and thanks for watching. <laughs>